family, mom would be so proud of the woman that you have become and the life that you've created. Anyone that knows you, and it was mentioned today, anyone that knows you knows that you embody many of the same wonderful and spirited qualities as her. What a gift. I know. But it's great. Amazing. <laughs> Wow. Wow. This is For as long as I can remember, I, I always wanted to be like you. Uh, thinking back to our days on the ball diamond, playing football at the Sea Slacks and the Duranzos, or just shooting hoops at the Andersons, I always wanted to keep up with him because I had just thought so highly of him. should be because everything from this day forward is not about you and not about you it's about us the two of you together i jake take you emily to be my lawfully wedded wife my constant friend my faithful partner and my love from this day forward in the presence of god our family and friends i offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health in joy and sorrow, and in life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honor you and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, and cherish you both in this life. And I, I just want to thank you for setting the bar so high in everything, uh, except for your grade point average. It has been amazing to watch Emily mold herself into a loving, intelligent and hard-working woman that she is today with a heart of gold. I'm proud to stand here today to say that she is my little sister. Marriage is a sacrament. It's a commitment to people becoming one. You and Emily are now a team. But in all seriousness though, I can honestly say that I cannot be any happier than my person. Oh, my I, Emily, take you, Jake, to be my lawfully wedded husband, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family, and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, and in life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you both in this life and in the next. Do you, Jake, take Emily to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Emily, take Jake to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Jake and Emily Jewell.
But what I love most about you, Jake, is that you love my sister wholeheartedly and treat her with respect. At this point, we were in fifth grade. Jake was in sixth. Uh, one of the first times I had met Emily, uh, I remember her saying to me, Oh, wait, are, are you Peter Jewell? Is your brother Jake? Oh my God, he is so cute. May the two of you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Don't just walk through life hand in hand. Instead, run and dance, enjoying the best life in a rhapsody of love. Jake, mom would be so proud and over the moon that you would be part of our family today. You truly are Emily's brother.